All right, welcome back. It's been a little while, uh, but today on the desk we have an Xbox One original. A bit scuffed up. I uh, got a lot of these consoles. Got three of these and a PS4 off my of mate uh, James. Times with JR on YouTube. Uh, just plug this one in and it's faulty. It's got a beep on beep off, but it's a quick beep off. So I'm hoping this is going to be fixable. But let's get into this. Let's get the top off. See what's going on inside. Filming this on another camera here. So we've got our power brick over to the left. Um, currently we're plugged in and we have an orange light, which is never a good start. Power button. Just here's a quick on and off. And if we do the light, see what that's doing. Goes to a white and back to orange. So let's see if this is a short circuit or not. See if it's a MOSFET or something. Let's take it apart and have a look. All right, I won't bore you with the details of getting this apart as there's loads of videos that show you that holy moly that's a lot of dust HDMI ports and stuff look good it's been opened before now there's a surprise made that look harder than it should The front pop off. And just undo the awkward ribbon cable. I won't lie, it took me longer to get the lid off than it should. Yeah, very mucky inside. Nice to see these clips haven't been broken. Most of the time you take these uh, front panels off and all these clips have been destroyed and split. Some nice dust bunnies in this one. All right, what we got inside, apart from a lot of dust. Oh, should we talk about the name change? If you haven't noticed, I've changed my name from Fix It to Resetting. To, um, well, I did change it to Retro Electrical Repair, but now I've changed it to Retro Electronic Repair. I just feel that name explains a bit better what I do. It says electronic repairs of all sorts. If I say electrical, it could mean like house electrics and stuff like that, which I don't do. I know how to, but I don't do. If you can hear a screaming child in the background, that is my neighbours. They have a new, new baby. Yeah, newish. And it cries a lot. This screwdriver has just fallen apart about it so long. <laughs> hmm. It's good though, because the rubber handle is like a really good grip. Or it was. Now it's just disintegrating everywhere better than this thing that has no grip whatsoever it's like a dart nicely blocked vents i am only doing that very gently you don't need to be forceful to get it off Right, very dusty, absolutely dry as a bone thermal paste, non-existent. All right, let's clean off this MOSFET area. Let's have a look, see if we can see anything going on in here. All right, so let's get the meter in, get it on diode mode. I'll just put my uh, red probe on one of the grounds like so, anywhere on one of these ports up the top. Right, and then we're going to just 
test the gates on these MOSFETs. So that's 0.6, that's reading good. Come on, 0.6 on that one. 0.6 good. Missed it. Point six. Yeah, so they're all good. So now let's try the bigger ones. 5.4, five, it's fine. 0.594, it's fine. Point Nine five nine four. It's fine. Same again. It's fine. This could be in trouble here. Might well not be these. Oh no. 0 0.02. I'm died reading. So we found one. Yeah, it's gone. What's that reading? Uh, as ohms. Twelve ohm on that one. Twelve ohm short. The others are like forty six. Yeah, so I believe this one could be an easy one, and hopefully it's that one there that has gone. So let's get one of my donor boards out, see if we can find a replacement for that. Right. We found one board. These MOSFETs are slightly smaller. Uh, I'm not sure if that's okay. Let's see if I've got another one. Board number two. Maybe we've got the big ones on them. Quick test of these ones on here. I've borrowed a few already by the look of it. Got flux all over the board. Not reading anything. Maybe because this board is dead. Or I've got other components off. Well, I think we're reading alright. All right, got a hot air there, there. All right, we've got our hot air station a set of 440. Let's see if we can get one of these off. Put a bit of fresh flux on there, even though it's looks like it's caked in the old stuff. I'm gonna take this one off first, because then when I heat this one up to remove it, I can put it straight on while the board's nice and warm. Uh, what's our airflow? Smack our airflow up about three quarters, 75 percent. Stay away from these caps, putting the heat away from that. Don't want them going pop. Let's pop my temperature up to 450. See all the solders mounted on everything else. There we go. We're off. You don't want to pull it too hard because you end up pulling the uh, traces off the board. Doesn't matter too much on this one. But we don't want to do it when we change this one. Let's get rid of that. So now hopefully when we do this one we can the board will be nice and warm for flying that chip back on there. off. Oh, the board's nice and warm. Just going to get some fresh solder on here. Or has this gone to sleep? Of course it has. Probably the wrong tip for this. Wrong tip for this board as well. Nowhere near enough heat in there. I'm all right at the top of the screen. Not the, not the best, I must say. 
the greatest idea using the wrong chip ground plane still not um, not flowing yet because it's not sitting down there we go now it is give it a nudge and it's flicking back into place I'm just going to hold that down to squeeze some of that solder out soldering iron with a stupid size tip on it I'm trying to just get them little balls away there we go doing an absolute marvellous job of this I'll do. Trying to get some of this flux off while it's warm, but hmm. Shouldn't really put cold IPA on there while it's still hot, but. Try and get this cleaned off while it's warm. Solid flux there. The crunchy flux. Yeah. Right, this station's gone to sleep now. Nice and quiet. Yeah, I think that looks good. Just inspect it a little bit closer. Yeah, it looks good. It's flat to the board. Let's bring our multimeter back in. Just want to make sure. Got proper reading on it now. Yep, 0.5. Lights all over it. Not that one. 0.5, same as all the others. Right, so I think all we need now is a good old clean up. New thermal paste. Get the case in the sink and give it a clean. Get all of that out of there. I'm disgusting. And when it's that brown, it's usually... Mm, smoke. Right, let's join me a bit when we've got this back together enough for testing. Oh, actually, what we can do first, shall we just test it? Right, so let's just plug that in there a second. Make sure there's nothing underneath there that's going to short anything out. That won't short anything. All uh, right, let me just bring in a power supply over. So before, when you turn it on, um, usually get a white light, and then it'll go orange if there's a problem. So if we turn it on now orange white to a white light and it stays white before it was immediately going to orange or red we'll go to orange after a while i think to say it's in standby there but it's not instant so it will go to orange the light but if it's going white then orange very quickly then you know it's or well, can indicate a short so right there's hopes for this board yet right let's give it a good old clean Right, so we've got it all clean now. Um, I've just put a replacement fan on here. I just didn't want—I didn't want to go into cleaning this up. 
So I've just taken that off and put a clean fan I have on there. That's all cleaned up. Right, so this gets this all back together. We get some MX4 thermal paste on the processor. And hopefully you can see as I'm rebuilding it, how clean it is. Right, let's go. Forgot to clean this. All right, just thinking about the state it was in, I'm going to open the disk drive and clean that. There's no point doing all this work and leaving the uh, disk drive dirty. The amount of dust that was on this doesn't actually look too bad in there. Legends of the Dark Black. Birthday bash. 2009. What is that? DVD. All done. Looking beautiful. Let's see what happens now when we turn it on. Oh, just going to film this one on, on this camera. Okay. Oh, so here he is in all its glory. Right, I'm going to switch the power on at the back here. We'll keep on the lights. Going to focus on that. Orange goes to white. Stays white as we saw before. Focus, focus, focus. And here we go. Stays on. You can feel the fan blowing. Ah. I need to get Joey off my screen. Joey does tech, fabulous channel. Go check him out. Because now I need to plug in the HDMI into here. Put out the Amazon Fire Stick from there. Plug it into the HDMI box. And there we go. Yeah, Xbox designed to automatically shut down to protect it from insufficient ventilation. So is that what happened before? Well, let me just get a controller. Synced. Right, I'm synced on the remote, so let's continue that. Please try again. Sorry, that did not work for some reason. Uh-oh. And we're on. Right, so there we go. That's a success. One of the Xbox that James gave to me. Well, he didn't give it to me. So I paid James uh, 60 quid for, what was it, three Xbox Ones and a PS4. Uh, this one had trouble um, just with the MOSFETs, with just with one MOSFET, so that was easy to change. Um, the other two Xboxes are kind of like working. I think I've, I've had to reset them and they seem to be working okay now. Uh, the PS4 will be in the next video. Um, it turns on, but it won't accept any discs or anything like that. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. The PS4 will be next. So please, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us if you like the new name, Retro Electronic Repair. And I shall see you in the next one.